So the other day I went out for some toy photography. I decided to record, show you guys kind of what I do when I go out for pictures. And I recorded an intro that somehow got cut off. So this is a new intro. This is a couple days after I went and took the pictures. But it was a good time. Um, I went to a local park by my house. Uh, there's a river by the park and I went down there and got some cool photos. And then later I met up with Josh. It was his birthday. And him and I went to a park by his house and got a couple more pictures. So um, I think I got around like four or five really good photos, like ones that I'm gonna post on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do at Toy Bills. I've been doing toy photography on there for a couple years. It's what really got me like hardcore back into collecting. Um, uh, I've been on Instagram since like 2013, 2014 when the Black Series line came out originally. I was buying them, I started taking photos. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. Alright, we made it to my little spot. Alright, here's my bag. Brought uh, these guys. Brought some Clone Wars. I want to take a little Clone Wars pick. Those will work out. And then uh, my do back and all my Storm Troopers and Sand Troopers. So I should be able to take a couple good photos of those. Okay, guys. So the first thing I personally do is I like to find the backdrop, make sure it works well with the lighting I have as well as throwing a figure out there and making sure it shows up well. And I think this one does. So I think I'm gonna set this one up with this as the backdrop, maybe in the rocks and in the water a little bit too. So let me set these up and I'll show you. Okay guys, so this is the basic setup I have right now. I just posed them all here. I want that to kind of be my backdrop. I do want some of these rocks in the foreground though. Um, so yeah, just think about angles. Think about how low you wanna go, how high you wanna go different sides but right now like I don't have any sun really messing with it and I really like the way it's looking so I'm gonna get a couple photos and then I'll show you guys my final result of this little setup and I also use a vape to kind of get some kind of fog effect so yeah you get an idea of what that's gonna look like right now I'm gonna take my shots and then I will show you guys what I get so I switched the angle up with these figures and I think I like this a little bit more. I'm gonna keep the same backdrop, you know, the same kind of setup, just move the figures around and I think this one works better. I'm about to take the Clone Wars figures. I just have three of them. I'm gonna take those, get another setup. Um, get a couple more photos of them. They are all like the same kind of colors. And I think the colors of the rocks and the water and the shadows over here really complement them well. So I think they'll be good right here. And just to show you, I'm not even that far from where I just took the Delta Squad picture at. The Delta Squad picture was literally taken right here. So all I did was just move on over to the stream and that's where I'm going to take this one at. I'm in one spot right now and I found two perfect backdrops or environments for these photos so it's, it's a very simple thing if you just look for what complements the figures so I think I'm going to do a solo shot of Fox just because he looks really well um, in this pose and just with this backdrop so I'm thinking about doing a photo of him by himself then maybe adding the other clones so we'll see which one works the best Okay, so I did add the other two clones. I got a couple good photos of them. I use the burst um, when I'm taking photos, when I use like the, the vape for fog, because sometimes they're too foggy. Sometimes you can't see all the figures that well. So I like to get a lot of them just so I can pick and choose which one is the best. I've probably taken about 300 photos today just because I take a lot when I use the vape for fog. Um, I used it with these because the other two clones look very bright. Um, I think it's because, you know, just their angles and just how much white they have on them. But when I use the vape, they become a little more clear. I'll show you guys. See how they kind of stick out a little bit more? That is why I use the burst, just so I can pick the very best one. 
So I know for sure I'm gonna post a picture of just Fox by himself because I really liked the reflection he had in the water, but I think I'm gonna post one of just these three as well. Okay guys, so I lied. I'm not gonna get one more set of photos here. Um, I just looked at the time and I need to be at Josh's house around four o'clock. That's when he's gonna get off. Um, so I think I'm going to just save my stormtroopers and my do bag for when I go over there. Cause him and I are gonna go out for about maybe an hour or an hour and a half. And uh, I think I'll try to get the photos of them there. But I did wanna show you guys this river cause this is where I'm at. So I'm just gonna show you like one more little surrounding area um, clip of where I was at today. Um, I try to always hit up places like this. I just think certain figures photograph so well outside. So here's the river. Um, and then this is the runoff right here where I was at. It was right up there taking my photos. But this is pretty much my go to spot, guys. So I just want to show you guys that real quick. Um, I am going to head to Josh's now figs get my bag all right getting the shots for the dewback sand trooper we're at the inglewood dam there's josh over there getting some photos i got this set up i'm thinking oh i about knocked it over i'm going to do the dewback drinking some water with the sand troopers just staring at him All right, so we're on this trail over here at this dam. And then we just went off to the side right here. Oh, and I'm getting this new back picture on this little mossy log. All right, this is the last setup. A couple of the six inch sand troopers. I hope you guys liked the toy photography vlog. I had a lot of fun doing it. It's just something that I've been doing for a while and I really enjoy it. And it's just fun to see people evolve doing it. My first couple photos I took were so bad. Like if you deep dive into my Instagram, you will find some super basic uh, pictures that I took back in the day. And it's just really cool to see how far, you know, it, you come along. Um, I'm still in no way some toy photography pro. There are some amazing toy photographers on Instagram. It's a, it's a learning process. It's just really fun to see what kind of images you can get and what you can come up with with just posing some action figures. Um, I mostly go outside to like creeks and rivers and stuff like that just because I mostly photograph just Star Wars and those just look really good by water and out in the woods and stuff like that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe. If you haven't, share the video, let some people know about the channel. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one.